earlier and this time I would like to do something different. Uh, some of my viewers and subscribers uh, have asked and suggested um, to try out some uh, mods to improve the graphics of Ultima 4 because you know um, it looks a little dated and there have been several fan-made projects and and um, mods to improve the graphic and so I installed one of them I'm gonna put the link it's called XU4 I got it of SourceForge and I'm gonna put the link in the description of this video I installed it it's really easy even for me it was easy to install this and um, you put the uh, files that you download into the folder, the game folder of Ultima 4. Uh, I haven't tried it whether it messes anything up uh, with the regular game. I hope it doesn't because otherwise I'll have to restart. Um, oh yeah, I should have backed up my saves, right? Well, anyway, so this is what the intro looks like. The music looks really nice and we've got some extra features as well. We've got video options. So you can actually uh, choose a scaling and um, change that. You can switch the mode, full screen, window, and so on. Uh, you can... Oops. And let's go back to the previous ones. You know? Still getting used to it. Return to video options. And use... We've got filters. I really don't know what they do, but I'm going to stick to the basic ones. And here is, uh, let's go back to the main menu. There are some other options as well. For example, there are input options. So you can use a mouse actually, which is pretty cool. I've got that switched on right now. You can have some repeat intervals and repeat delays. Um, I have not tried any of this out yet, but we will a little bit at least. You can update the speed, game cycles per second. Uh, you can increase the battle uh, speed, the camping length. So for example, if you do camp, the game shows you that camping screen for a couple of seconds and you can adjust this here. So there are a bunch of um, different settings. So let's cancel. We've got game enhancement as well. Um, we can turn these on and off. We can have the battle difficulty, normal, I guess is, you know, the basic thing. You can also have hard and expert. Um, we can change the, um, whether chest traps are fixed or not. We can uh, switch on whether gazers, which are a certain type of enemy in the game, spawn insects or not. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about the gem view because that's something we need later. And slime divides, I'm not sure about. And we could probably put on some cheats. But I'm going to leave these off. And then we have the enhanced interface options. Automatic actions like open and jimmy. We can switch those on. Set active player on. Um, not sh quite sure about that. Smart enter key. Um, I guess it would be nice to look that up on the page. I haven't done that yet. I just want to give you a quick impression, especially of what it looks like. So we're going to go back to the in-game menu. Let's see if I can continue my game. I can't. So this is using a different save than the game that you download from GOG does. Right? So um, if I if I started through the GOG interface, the basic Ultima 4 in a DOS box, it saves its games but they are not shared with this version. And I hope they're not gone when I put on the normal version. So let us uh, initiate a new game. I'm going to pick a different character name this time. Uh, are you male or female? These graphics look the same. There are nicer sounds though. I do think they look the same, right? They do. Fonts look a tiny bit different, in my opinion. This looks better, or at least a little bit, right? Not sure. So... She's asked me questions. Compassion and spirituality. So I'm just gonna get through that um, pretty quickly because we're going to take a look at the game graphics, right? 
So, gonna go for honor. And again, we're gonna go for we're gonna go for Valor this time. Honesty and humility. Let's go for honesty. Compassion and honor. I'm just gonna go because I wanna see what the graphics look like. So Valor and Honor. So let's go for Valor. My path is chosen. Here I am. This is the graphic in this case. Um, I can press Alt A to help. And I can see, actually see my key bindings, which is really nice. Locate. I don't think that's... I think that's a command that's not basic. I can switch the music volume here, which is pretty nice. So, let's try that locate. Ah, okay. That, uh, I would need a sextant for that, I guess. Okay, so where are we? We are in... I'm a fighter now. Cool. So by picking the things in the character creator, I have become a fighter. So this is what the game looks like with that upgrade. And I think it looks... I don't know. I guess the skating does this. Um... It seems to run a little smoother, and uh, it has additional options, right? So that's a good thing. Let me travel around a little bit. I like the music stuff. I mean, these are some nice melodies. By the way, which town is this? Oh, it's Yellum, right? Because this is because I'm a fighter. I'm poisoned already from the swarms. So how about we fight something? Don't think I can... Can I fight this? I can. Cool. So let's see if I... How much of a chance I have against... The Sea Serpent. It's fleeing! Awesome! Come on, flee. Don't shoot at me. And I also think we got experience for that because someone was asking um, what happens if the enemy flees or we still get XP and I think we did. So right now we are poisoned. Let me look at the, man at the um, old age again. Mixed regions, new order. Yeah, those are the basic commands. And... Music, volume, and sound volume on off with... Let's try this. Oh yeah. Okay. Can With the comma and uh, full stop, I can um, raise and lower the audio. And I can actually move with the mouse. I'm pressing the right mouse button and I'm moving that at. So yeah, that is pretty interesting. Uh, the intro look and uh, the starting screen look nicer. I think the game graphics look smoother uh, The music is a nice addition and uh, the fact that you can control with your mouse is a little nice to have in my opinion and uh, Yeah, so if you want to try it out, I mean Ultima 4 is free um, On GOG.com I think or you can just google for Ultima 4 for three because the game has been three for quite a few years already and you can download that and apply this patch and uh, this this update this mod to you know improve the looks of the game and the sound as well so that was a quick update on that uh thanks for the recommendations and the ask uh, the questions about this and um yeah i hope this is helpful uh see the description for the link of this mod bye bye